18 and 7, including three wins over top 20 teams. And the Marquette Warriors come into this game 15 and 10. This has been sold out at the Mecca for months and months. And now let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's game. Here's public address announcer John Owen. The Marquette Warriors welcome the Notre Dame Fighting Irish to the Milwaukee Arena. Here are the starting lineups for tonight's game. For Notre Dame, at one forward, a 6'8 senior from New Orleans. Number 15, Donald Royal. At the other forward, number 24, a 6'6 sophomore from Philadelphia, Mark Stevenson. At center, a 6'9 junior from the Queens, New York, Gary Vos. At one guard, number four, a six foot junior from Jer Jersey City, New Jersey, David Rivers. At the other guard, number 10, a 6'3 senior from Indianapolis, Scott Hicks. The coach of the Irish, Digger Phelps. And now the starting lineup for the Marquette Warriors. At one forward, number 25, a 6'6 senior from San Francisco, David Boone. At the other forward, number 34, a 6'3 freshman from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, Tony Smith. At center, number 54, a 6'9 senior from Coon Rapids, Minnesota, Tom Popa. At one guard, number 10, a 5'11 senior from Milwaukee, Kevin Johnson. At the other guard, number 12, a 5'11 junior from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Michael Sims. The coach of the Warriors, Bob Duquette. We met the starting lineups of the head coaches for tonight's game, and we'll be back with the opening tip-off. The Marquette Warriors and the Fighting Irish Notre Dame right after this message. In the 88 previous meetings, Notre Dame leads the series 63 to 25, including seven in a row. However, the Irish are five and 10 here at the Mecca. Coach Digger Phelps, the winner of all five. Digger Phelps personally is five and three at the Mecca. There you see the starting lineups for the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame with the Marquette Warriors that were set for the opening tap. Jumping center, 6'9", Tom Copa for Marquette. The number 54, also at 6'9", Gary Bose for Notre Dame. And from the Mecca, we are underway. Notre Dame controlling the tap to Scott Hicks. In the hands of David Rivers, number four. Donald Royal. 24 is Mark Stevenson. Marquette opening in a man. Rivers Stevenson inside. Good move. Mark Stevenson scores and he is fouled. Mark Stevenson. Foul called on Tom Copa. So Stevenson can make it a three point play. And Larry, this might be. An interesting matchup from the man to man. Tony Smith guarding Stevenson. Smith gives up a couple of inches. Stevenson, a much taller player, and it's going to be a big advantage for him, particularly on the inside. Stevenson puts Notre Dame on top three, nothing just underway. 19 and a half to play, first half. David Boone, the man to watch for Mark Cap number 25. Tom Copa, here's Boone with Donald Royal on him. Be a traveling violation on Tony Smith, and Notre Dame will inbound to the backcourt. 
Notre Dame leading 3 nothing. Coach Digger Phelps looking for his 11th team in 16 seasons to win 20 or more games. David Rivers with Michael Pop Sims on him. Good defense, Marquette. Royal Boone guarding him. Royal strong to the hole, a whistle and a foul call. Reaching in on Kevin Johnson. Oh, no, it's on Tom Copa. It's not on Kevin Johnson. They called it on Tom Copa, his second. You can see it right there. There's the move to the inside, and the foul committed, and Notre Dame goes to that favorite place they enjoy being. That's the charity strike. Notre Dame is 15th in the nation in free throw percentage as a team 76 percent. And despite the background of the student body from Marquette, Donald Royal, who is an 81 percent free throw shooter, cans the first. Donald Royal averaging 15 and 1 tenths points per game is two for two. And Notre Dame leads 5-0 with 18.50 to play first half. Backcourt pressure by Rivers on Sims. Deflected off Notre Dame. It'll be Marquette ball. Digger Phelps tried to make the call, but the officials say no wire ball. Kevin Johnson will inbound. Boone, Michael Pop Sims. That's the second walking violation called on Kevin Johnson, a senior from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Harry, the one thing Marquette can ill afford to do is commit turnovers, and already the Irish have gotten two from them, and they have yet to even score. Mark Stevenson. David Boone right on the numbers of Donald Royal. I would imagine Notre Dame will try to get it into Donald Royal, hope to get David Boone in some foul trouble. The thing that Marquette did that time to get the turnover was they put good pressure on the ball. They were able to get a turnover and get the basketball back. Chance for the Warriors now to get on the board. I know this crowd wants to get into this basketball game. Now's the chance to get them into it. Notre Dame leading 5 0. We have 18 minutes to play in the first half. Here's Boone deflected by Royal, nearly picked off, but Kevin Johnson won't go. Rebound, Karim to Copa. Tom Copa, yes. And Mark gets on the board. Streamers come down on the court. Tom Copa gets Marquette on the board. We have 17.42 left to go. First half, it's 5-2 Notre Dame. Notre Dame, 18-7. Notre Dame is third in the nation in team defense, having held their opponents just 59 and one-tenths points per game. Scott Hicks, Kevin Johnson on him. They get it inside to Boyce and up and over Copa and Gary Bose. What's Notre Dame up 7-2? Well, if they kept it out of the hands of Royal, if you put it in the hands of Bose, he can do some damage in there also. There was a nice turnaround move in the middle. Especially lately, Bose started very slowly. Bone is stripped to the ball by Scott Hicks. David Rivers. He's stripped of the ball, but it's picked off by Notre Dame. Scott Hicks, yes, from the baseline. Well, give Scott Hicks a lot of credit. He got the steal on one end, took it down the other end, and got the basket. He is a complete player for the Irish, one of the better athletes they've got on this club. Turnaround jump shot will not go, and Gary Bowe's strong on the boards for Notre Dame. David Rivers. It looks like Marquette might be a little bit tight coming into this basketball game. I think 
Hicks is going to be called for a push off. Scott Hicks is going to be called for a push off. His first foul and super sub Mike Flory checking in for Bob Duquette. Bob Duquette in his first year as head coach of the Marquette Warriors. Flory makes things happen off the bench. He's their third leading scorer. He wears number 31. Good ball movement right there by Marquette. They've got it where they want it, in the middle. Laurie No, and the rebound picked off by Gary Vose. Vose out to David Rivers. Vose has really come on this season, thanks in large part to assistant coach John Shubay. Rivers penetrates. He's fouled by Michael Sims. Marquette, Harry, we talked about it at the top of the show about uh, if they're going to win this basketball game, Marquette, they've got to keep this young man right here, David Rivers, from penetrating down the middle. That time, Sims did not, and Rivers made his move right down the lane and drew the foul. Rivers, an 84% free throw shooter. Not that time. The first miss from the free throw line for Notre Dame. And Rivers will get one more. David, the all-time Notre Dame leader in steals. Passing John Paxson this year. He's one for two from the free throw line. And Notre Dame is up by eight with 15.50 to play. First half. Well, Rivers putting a lot of pressure on Sims. Good move by Rivers. Good defensive oh, play. Digger Phelps thought David Rivers had all ball, but the foul is called on David Rivers. It looked like a clean block. I want to tell you what. I think I'm going to be on Digger's side on this one. Watch the move down the middle right there, and it was all ball by oh, David Rivers. Block, that was yeah. a good, good move by Digger coming off the bench and protesting that call. He was absolutely right. Good move by David Rivers. Well, the foul is called on Rivers, and Sims will be shooting two. Top Sims, 82% free throw shooter. It's nice to be back in the game. 10-3 with 15-52 to play here in the first half. One out of two, and Bose clears the board. His third rebound. Gary Bose, early in the season, really wasn't much of a factor scoring or rebounding in the last several games, especially against North Carolina. Played very well. 15 points, 10 rebounds against North Carolina. Carrying the ball violation called on Scott Hicks. And a timeout has been called. We have 15.34 to play in the first half. It's Notre Dame 10 and Mark kept three. And we'll be back with more from the Mecca right after this. We're not a company. The ball inside to Donald Royal. They also, on the other end, Marquette loves to give it to David Boone in that same position. Marquette goes to his own defense. They try to keep the ball away from the inside, but they are getting it in there to Royal. Royal was strong inside. He passed up the shot. It looked like Sims with a good defensive move to get to that corner to shut it down. Traveling violation called on Notre Dame. It'll be Mark Cat Ball. Notre Dame by six. We have 13 13 to play in the first half. Watch Sims and River. Rivers. That is the key matchup right now for this basketball game. Those two guards. Sims stepped on the line. So it's another turnover from Marquette. It'll be Notre Dame ball with a six-point lead. You see Bob Duquette on your screen right there. I'm sure he's not very happy with the start of this basketball game, considering the fact they've already turned it over four times. Duquette's assistants, Rudy Keeling, Tom McConnell, and Fred Hill. Marquette back to that zone defense. Basically a 1-2-2. Two, two. You see Pope in there trying to fight whoever comes into the middle. Marquette needs to keep the ball away from right there. That, that young man, Royal. They try to get it into Royal. It's nearly stolen, but Donald retains possession. He gets it back out to David Rivers. Cooler heads prevailed right there. He could have made a bad pass, just brought it back out and reset the offense. Good move by Royal. Ten on the shot clock. Rivers from three-point range. No, Donald Royal high in the air for the offensive board. Knocked out of his hands. 
You heard the adage about what goes up must come down. When he brings it down, you better look for Pop Sims because he's going to be somewhere around the ball. He just slapped it out of bounds. Fresh 45 on the shot clock, and Donald Royal is fouled inside by Tony Reeder. Mark that foul. Number 31, Mike. They're going to give it to Flory instead. Oh, on Flory, not Reader. Flory's first, the team's fourth. And Donald Royal will be at the line shooting two. Royal with two points, both from the free throw line, an 81% free throw shooter. He is nine points away now from becoming the 31st player in Notre Dame history to score 1,000 or more points in his career. Three for three from the free throw line. This Notre Dame basketball team is a club that really has gotten so much better as the year has gone on. They've, you know, they've lost a lot of tight basketball games. In fact, six of the seven losses they've had have basically occurred in the last two minutes. I think Digger Phelps relishes getting games into the 50s and 60s and out coaching someone. He does an excellent job at that. Notre Dame leads 15-7. Sims inside the reader, and he is fouled from behind by Gary Vos. Bose picking up his first, the team's third. Well, Reader got excellent inside position there. Bose was on the outside, and the pass was there. He just could not put it in. Watch that pass by Sims in there. Good position by Reader. Took it up. Bose with a little push in the back. May have thrown his timing off. Look at the expression on Sims's face. Reader not a real good free throw shooter. From the foul line, Reader is 57%. Off the front of the rim with Allen. He gets one out of two. Notre Dame's lead is now 15 to 8 with 12-13 to play here in the first half. A good strategy right now by Notre Dame. They're moving the basketball well against this Marquette zone defense. They're finding the openings, the good slots, the angles, making the good passes. Not a big rush to get up a bad shot. Tried to force it in the middle, Donald Royal loses it, knocked out of bounds by David Rivers. Preventing an easy layup by Sims, so Marquette will inbound to the forecourt. We have 11.49 left to play here in the first half. From the Mecca in Milwaukee, it's Notre Dame 18 and Marquette 8. And we'll be right back after these messages. Been contracted for and approved by Creative Sports Marketing. Any use, rebroadcast, or other transmission of this game without the written consent of Creative Sports Marketing is prohibited. 15 to 8, 11.49 to play in the first half. Fairly low scoring, Larry Conley, but I guess that's understandable because both teams play excellent defense. When you look at the average of points this year, Marquette's averaging 74 points a game. Notre Dame is averaging 64 points a game. It's really playing in the hands, I think, of Digger Phelps. He'd like to have a low-scoring game, particularly being away from home. And Notre Dame third in the nation in team defense, holding their opponents to 59.1 points per game. Marquette in the forecourt, trailing by seven. Field goal percentages, Irish four for seven, Marquette three for nine. Pushing off foul is called inside, I believe, on David Boone. Marquette foul. It is David Boone picking up his first and the team's fifth. I would guess that if there's one player on that floor for Marquette that they cannot lose, it would be that young man, David Boone. He really anchors the inside, rebounding and scoring for them. They desperately need his offensive capabilities. A good movement right now by Marquette in that zone defense. They've been able to keep the ball away from the middle. Once it's gone in there, it almost collapses around the player who has the ball. Scott Hicks from about 18. Hicks has four, and Notre Dame leads 17 to 8. Sims with Rivers on him. Boone Donald Royal has that assignment. Lori, Scott Hicks into David Boone. The turnaround jumper. You got the ball into Boone at that point. It's almost automatic score. He has four. He's hit two shots from that same range down in there. And when he gets the ball there, he is so strong, so powerful, he can turn and get the ball up quickly. And that time he did against Donald Royal. Notre Dame leading by seven. Skip pass to David Rivers. He'll take the shot, not a three-pointer, but he cans a two-point shot. And Rivers now has six, and Notre Dame leads by nine. 
Notre Dame's going to stay with their man-to-man -man defense. They think they're better off and match up better defensively. Maybe they have a little bit more quickness at each position, much more so than Marquette has. The matchup there is Donald Royal and David Boone, along with Sims and Rivers. Here is Boone. Got the screen. Shot will not go. And Mark Stevenson, the rebound for Notre Dame. Good block out there on Reeder by Stevenson. One thing about this Notre Dame club, they mature with almost every basketball game. They get smarter. They play their game the way they want to play it. They're going to keep the ball for as long as they can on offense and play good, tough man-to-man -man defense. A well-coached club. Coming off a win of number four ranked DePaul and David Rivers cans a two-point shot. Rivers has eight, and Notre Dame now leads by 11, and Bob Duquette is going to use one of his timeouts. We have 9.38 to play here in the first half. Notre Dame leading by 11, 21 to 10 over Marquette. We'll be back at the Mecca right after these words. We us along with Larry Conley. Our statistician is Bob Redden. Notre Dame leading by 11, 21 to 10. Nearly going, Larry. What do you see? Any pattern? Well, the one thing that Notre Dame is doing extremely well is shooting the ball well from the outside over that Marquette zone defense. And if they continue to do that, that's going to force Bob Duquette to change his strategy and go back to that man-to-man -man defense. And if they do, then the adjustment Notre Dame has to make is start going back inside with that ball, try to get it in there to their big man, Donald Royal, and also to Mark Stevenson, who posts up well. Kevin Johnson has just checked back in for Marquette, a 5'11 senior from Milwaukee. He inbounds to Pop Sims. Nine and a half minutes to play, 11-point Notre Dame lead. Get it into Tom Copa. Copa. Offense. Offensive foul on Copa. Good defensive position by Bose. Copa picks up his third personal foul. Big Tom has never beaten Notre Dame in his career at Marquette. He would love dearly to win this one. Well, these kind of moves aren't going to get him there. There's the offensive charge right there against Bose by Copa. And Notre Dame gets the basketball back. Tony Reeder checks back in for Marquette, and Tom Copa's out with three fouls. I kind of thought maybe when Johnson came back in the game, they'd go man-to-man, -man, and they have. They've gone back, and you see Sims out there on Rivers, and they immediately went to Stevenson. Mark Stevenson has five points, and Notre Dame's lead is now 13, their biggest lead of the game, 9-10 to play first half. Reeder, a good pivot move over Bose. Tony Reeder, who averages eight in the third, or even three-tenths points off the bench, now has three. And Notre Dame's lead back to 11. Sims done a nice job defensively right there, keeping Rivers away from the inside. He bodied up to him and just put it away and wouldn't let him get there. Look at that chest right there. Pushing him so he couldn't get to the baseline, and Rivers lost the ball out of bounds. Marquette now getting it back after the turnover. They get it inside to Boone over Royal. David Boone is just going to make that shot with great consistency. He has six. And it's now single-digit lead for Notre Dame at 9-23-14. Again, watch the matchup with Sims and Rivers. If Sims can keep Rivers out of that penetration, there's the steal. Glory lays it in. And the Notre Dame lead is down to seven as Marquette makes a run with 8-13 to play first half. Very pretty good move right there on the outside by Mike Glory to get that steal. That crowd is starting to get into this game now. Stevenson, no, rebound, pulled down by Boone to Flory. Four on two. Sims the reader. Yes, the Now yeah, they need a timeout. Digger Phelps will quickly call timeout. Reader has five, and Notre Dame calls for a timeout. We have 7.50 to play in the first half. From the Mecca in Milwaukee, it's Marquette trailing Notre Dame, 23 to 8. Why should you got to get the ball to the middle. Watch Mike Flory get it in the hands of Pop Sims, who in turn gets it to the other side and puts it in the hands of Tony Reeder, who makes an excellent, strong move inside. And Harry, all of a sudden, that 13-point lead has dissipated. It's gone. It's five points now. Prompting Digger Phelps to call a timeout for Notre Dame. 7.50 to play in the first half. Notre Dame will... Inbound, and Mark Kettle put on a little full-court pressure as Notre Dame try to get the ball in with Donald Royal inbounding. 
Harry, I'm a little bit surprised at the number of turnovers we've had so far in this game. So far, Notre Dame has eight, and Marquette has seven. That's a lot, and we've only played about 12 minutes of basketball. David Rivers with Pop Sims on him. Pretty good switch right there. They got it back to Rivers. They didn't get back in time. Sims made the switch and never got back. David Rivers has 10 of Notre Dame's 25 points, and the Irish leading now by seven. Marquette's been concentrating on getting the ball inside. They tried that time. Flory, good move. Great move to the basket, and he is fouled by Mark Stevenson. Stevenson's first, Notre Dame's fourth team foul. Watch Flory, Flory. a junior college All-American in Iowa Falls, Iowa. 6'5", junior from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Great player off the bench. Here's the good angle. Watch Flory make the strong move right there. You can see the foul being committed. Well, maybe he might have gotten a charging foul called against him there, but the official says it goes the other way, so Flory will go to the line for two. He's a 78% free throw shooter. He'll get another one. Flory with three points. Harry, from an offensive standpoint, and watching Marquette execute their offense, it looks as if they're trying to push the ball to the inside. They've tried desperately to get it in there to Boone and also to Reeder. They've been successful, and that time, Flory took it right down the middle. Well, guards, Pop Sims and Kevin Johnson have scored just one of Marquette's 20 points, so they are trying to get it inside. Reeder the rebound from Marquette. Seven minutes to play, first half. But a mismatch out there. Johnson's out there. Bose is having to guard him. Johnson, the strong move to the basket. No, the rebound grabbed by Bose, and he is fouled by David Boone. Boone picking up his second. That's the team's seventh, so they'll be shooting one and one. Well, Johnson knew he had the mismatch there, and he tried to utilize his quickness and go inside, but he threw up a bad shot with the left hand. You can see the foul committed right there by David Boone. Big decision right now with two fouls on David Boone. Would Bob Duquette want to take him out and sit him on the bench and keep him from getting that third foul, or does he want to leave him in the game? Obviously, he's going to leave him in there. Gary Bose will be at the free throw line after he shoots his free throws. He'll be taken out, and Scott Paddock will check in for Notre Dame. Scott is 6'9", freshman from Plantation, Florida. Bose, no. Rebound tipped out, though, to Bose, and Notre Dame has the ball with a five-point lead. 6.42 to play first half. One of those loose balls you have to come up with during a basketball game. They can kill you. That time, Notre Dame got it. John Cotter, number 33, on for Notre Dame. Good outside shooter. Sims done a good job of keeping Rivers away. He got it to Hicks, though. Baseline Hicks, no, and David Boone snares a rebound for Marquette. Sims sets it up offensively. You get the sense Marquette might be building a little confidence here. They've knocked 13 points down to five. The basket here could get him in with a two or three. Look at Sims. Great move to the basket, but his shot will not go, and the rebound comes down to David Rivers, but he stepped out of bounds. It'll be Marquette ball. Now Scott Paddock will check in with a clock stop, 5.59 to play. Paddock in, and Bose is out. Bob Duquette. Gets it in to David Boone. He almost got the five-second call. David Boone with a freshman paddock on him. Boone over paddock, yes. David Boone with eight. Marquette is within three. Well, Boone likes that little eight-foot turnaround jump shot, and he is deadly. Three-point lead now by Notre Dame. Gone from a 13 to a three-point lead for Notre Dame here in the first half, five and a half minutes to play. Good fight through the screen that time by Sims and a steal by Boone. Steal by Boone to Sims, and Sims lays it in, and Notre Dame's lead is down to one. 25-24, Notre Dame is a concern. Bigger Phelps looks on. That for a comeback for the Warriors. Down 13. And the building is going wild here. Marquette down by one. 
mentioned a rash of turnovers here in the first half by both sides. Marquette can take the lead for the first time. It's very uncustomary for an Irish team to turn the basketball over very much, and I know Digger Phelps is going to have a few words to say about that at halftime. They have 11 so far. A lot of turnovers. Gloria Spong moved to the basket, and Marquette leads for the first time. Six off the bench. Donald Royal driving on Boone. Boone can't do much with Royal with two fouls, and Donald Royal puts Notre Dame back on top with his first field goal. Good strategy right there. Marquette on a 16 to 4 run right now. Inside Flory. The bench has brought the Warriors back. The young man has eight, and Mark kept back up by one. That's the type of work you like to have off your bench. Get somebody in here that's instant offense. Here's an isolation move by Rivers. Good switch by Boone, and Rivers went right around him. X three for the baseline, thanks to David Rivers, who gets the assist. Gary, that was a good call by Digger Phelps right there. He isolated Rivers, who got it to Hicks for the jump shot. Good move by David Rivers to get it to him. Notre Dame by one. 328 in counting in the first half. Notre Dame and Marquette always seem to have wars. Leader to turn around, jumper short. Paddock the rebound for Notre Dame into the hands of David Rivers. What looked like it was going to be a blowout early has quickly turned into a close basketball game. Again, a good switch, and Sims got back to recover against Rivers. You got to make sure your matchups are even in the height distribution. And right now, Sims needs to fight through those screens to get to Rivers. Rivers pops and will not go, and Boone pulls down the rebound for Marquette. Boone gets great position on the boards. He's not an outstanding leaper, but he's almost always at the right spot. I almost get the feeling also the Rivers might be pressing a little bit right now, trying to take too much on by himself. Great feed inside the Boone with a whistle. And a foul is called on Kevin Johnson after he dealt off the pass. He charged, and Kevin Johnson picks up a foul. Look at that good defensive position by Donald Royal right there. You can see Kevin Johnson plowed right through him. It's like a runaway freight train right there. Royal with great defensive position. Johnson ran right over the top of him. I think Bob Duquette may not agree with that call, but then he doesn't have access to our replays either, does he? Bob Duquette, who played his collegiate ball at Boston College under Bob Cousy. Donald Royal has six points. Notre Dame the last several years has been one of the top teams in rebound margin. They were the best in the country last year. One of the big reasons has been Donald Royal. But he misses that free throw and Notre Dame's lead is a point with 2.28 to play first half. Smart idea by Reader right there. He had nowhere to go because Paddock had shut off the baseline. He got it back out to Kevin Johnson. They reset the offense. Now Reader's got another chance. Corey, he's been hot. Not that time. Rebound, boom, no. Rebound. Saved by Flory brilliantly off the leg of Paddock. Great hustle by Flory. Flory's playing like a man possessed. He's, he's come off that bench and given them a big offensive lift. And look at this hustle right here. Throws it right off the hip of Paddock out of bounds right to the Notre Dame bench. And they'll get the basketball back. Good hustle. Laurie is a man who is keyed to come back for Marquette. He scored eight points off the bench. The Warriors were down by as many as 13 here in the first half. Now trailing by one. Pops in. Does not go, and Paddock pulls down the rebound for Notre Dame. We have 143 to play and counting here in the first half. The Irish by one. Stevenson doesn't go. Paddock, the offensive board back up, and he is fouled. Good job by the freshman Paddock. I think it may be Boone, and if it is, it's his third. 
It is on Boone, and that is number three. And now Bob Duquette will have to put Boone on the bench. You don't want him to get four before halftime. We have a minute 33 to play, and he will take Boone out and bring in number four, John Ellenson. Yeah, it makes it very difficult for a coach to have to take out your star player and sit him over there. Might be a good idea now for Marquette, once they get the basketball back, to sit on it, try to drain some of that shot clock, and maybe use as much of it as they can while their best player is sitting on the bench. Paddock is just a 46% free throw shooter. He missed that one badly, but got his own carom. Two of the free throws he did make were big ones, and Notre Dame's upset of number one North Carolina. Good feed to Scott Hicks, who lays it in. How about that pass by Bose? Boy, that was an excellent pass, and a good look by Gary Bose. He looked right up and saw Hicks streaking for the basket. Hicks with eight points. Notre Dame leads by three. Marquette wants to run a little bit of clock. Yep, good move by Johnson. He drew the foul. He's fouled by Frederick. Joe Frederick picking up the foul. It's Kevin Johnson's quickness got by Frederick. You got to take advantage of what you've got to offer in a basketball game. Kevin Johnson offers quickness. He took it inside that time and went straight to the basket. I tell you, the first two steps he's got, he's like a rocket coming out of this. Kevin, a 5'11 senior from Milwaukee. Kevin has the first one, his first points of the night. 75% free throw shooter. Yeah, we were talking about Notre Dame's free throw shooting abilities. Marquette Warrior team's no schlock outfit when it comes to walking the free throw line. They're shooting 73%. Notre Dame's lead is a point with less than a minute to play here in the first half. Good ball movement by the Irish and good defense by Marquette. Stevenson in the middle. Mark Stevenson, he has seven, and Notre Dame's lead is three. All right, they're going to hold it for the last shot now. Bobby Kidd off the bench, holding up one finger, indicating he wants the last shot before the end of the first half. So they will set up some sort of play. Inside Flory, but he traveled with the ball, and Notre Dame will have 21 seconds to try to increase their lead, which is three. I think maybe Flory was a little surprised he was open as he was when he made that cut through there, and he got the ball and took that extra step. Now the Warriors have got to shut the Irish down, keep them away from that basket. Mark Stevenson, Ellenson on him. Inside, stolen by Reeder, but it's out of bounds. Last touch by Marquette. It'll be Notre Dame ball. And the Irish have seven seconds to try to get a shot up. Irish have young players in there with Paddock, with Frederick, Stevenson, just a sophomore, Scott Hicks, the lone senior. There's Hicks, and he will pop, and he makes it with just three seconds to go in the first half. And that is the buzzer. Ending the first half as Scott Hicks gives Notre Dame a five-point lead, and he has 10 at halftime. Notre Dame and Marquette, you see the score. 35 to 30 is the score. Free throw shooting team normally, but tonight they are six for ten from the free throw line. There you see the three-point field goal tries. David Rivers scoring the only three-pointer. Here's the three-point differential. Notre Dame. You know, in the top 20 in the country in free throw percentage, but not tonight at 60 percent. Here's Notre Dame leading in rebounding. Yeah, rebounding right there. Notre Dame 13, Marquette 11. But the real statistic is the turnovers. Notre Dame with 11 and Marquette with 9. And it's interesting to note that of those 11, as you look at the steals and the assists right there, in those turnovers, David Rivers has 5 and Scott Hicks has 4. So uh, a little bit of surprising that the guard combo for the Fighting Irish coming up with nine of those 11 uh, turnovers. Here's the first half statistic. Notre Dame shot 14. And Marquette is being led in scoring by their front court men, David Boone and Mike Flory. Flory off the bench with eight. Boone's problem is three personal fouls. Notre Dame being led by their backcourt in scoring. The Fighting Irish being led by David Rivers with 10. And Scott Hicks also with 10. 
Mark Stevenson has seven, Donald Royals six, and Notre Dame does not have one player in foul trouble. No one with more than one personal foul for the Irish. Perry, when we discussed at halftime uh, what had been done by the bench, and in particular Mike Flory and Tom Tony Reeder coming off of that bench, they got 13 points in that first half. But Flory not only had eight points, but he had four assists in 17 minutes of play. Second half is underway. Marquette with the ball, trailing by five. Flory starting the second half, along with Kofa, Sims, David Boone, and Johnson. Now remember that both Boone and Kofa have three fouls apiece. Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, staying in that man-to-man -man defense. Marquette looks like they've been a little bit more patient to start this second half. They need a basket to kind of reestablish their dominance in this game. They're down by five. They made that great run in the first half. Laurie almost lost it out of bounds. Sims, the shot clock is going to finish. There's two seconds left on the clock, but Sims makes it just before the shot clock, the 45-second clock, expired on Marquette. Pretty good record right there when leading at halftime. Notre Dame was leading by five, and they're 12 and one on the year. Their only loss when they have led at halftime coming at Pauling Pavilion to UCLA. Notre Dame up by three. We have 18.50 to play. It's interesting to note that you and I talked about what a good job Sims had done in Ron Rivers. I still got 10. And look at Hicks starting right where he left off in the first half. Scott Hicks with a dozen. Notre Dame leading by five. Good defense by Royal DeVos. Three on one break to Stevenson. Reverse layup, yes, by Stevenson. Good move by Stevenson. They filled the lanes and Rivers could dump it left or right. He got it to Stevenson who laid it in. Well, even though David Rivers has 10 points at halftime, he did turn it over five times thanks to some tough defense by Sims. Boy, again, they're doing a nice job of defense. Right there, Hicks kind of deflected the ball on the pass, and the Fighting Irish come up with a basketball and a chance to lengthen that lead. David Rivers bringing it out with Sims on him. Battle Royal free for the shot. Perfect by Royal. Boy, Notre Dame doing a nice job offensively of moving the ball to the open man, and Donald Royal on that double team. His man left him, and he stood from 15 feet and handled. Notre Dame is up by nine. Feet inside, knocked out of bounds nicely by Vos, and it'll be Marquette ball. The one thing the Fighting Irish do extremely well on defense is they keep their hands moving. They get a lot of deflected passes, a lot of loose balls come their way, and it's because those hands are constantly moving. Moving right around Bowes. Well, this move by Booty has 10. That's money in the bank. When you get the ball to him in that position, he's going to get it in or get fouled. Notre Dame by seven. Matchup we've seen all night. Sims and David Rivers. Battle Royal. Loses the ball. Floria fast break to Sims. He lays it in. Well, Flory made a great pass over David Rivers' shoulder and got the ball in there to Pop Sims for that layup. It was a nice move by Mike Flory. Pop Sims with seven. Notre Dame's lead is five. 16-57 left to play. Rivers stolen again by Sims. Sims, no, and the rebound snared by Bose, who led all rebounders in the first half with six of them. I want you to remember that missed layup. That was a big one. That could have gotten them to within three. Copa really trying to work on both. Look at Stevenson making a good move baseline. Scott Hicks will not go. Rebound comes out to Sims. Sims right on by David Rivers and drops it in. Sims with nine, six of them in this half. Hey, you think he was going to be denied on that one? He just missed one 30 seconds ago. He took it in strong that time. Marquette now down by just three. 16 10 to play. Rivers right around Sims this time. The basket counts, I believe, and a foul's called on Kevin Johnson. Basket counts for David Rivers. Watch this move by David Rivers. He was stripped earlier that time. He tried to get stripped again by Sims. They called the foul on Kevin Johnson right there for moving in, but watch Rivers now make the good move. He said Johnson was moving. Copa almost with the block. 
Rivers is trying to make it a three-point play. He has 12 points. You get the feeling there's a little competitive tension between Sims and Rivers. Really? Rivers with 13. Notre Dame up by six. 16 minutes left to play. Marquette really spreading that offense now. Trying to get somebody open for some one-on-one -on -one moves. They got Boone and he traveled. Yep. And we have a timeout on the court here at the Mecca in Milwaukee. With six, almost 16 minutes remaining to be played. Before we forget our thanks to John Heisler and Scott Dupree of Notre Dame for their assistance in tonight's telecast. And Marion Top of Marquette for all of her help. Notre Dame led by five at the half, now by six. And a little less than 16 minutes remaining to be played. Sure makes an announcer's job a lot easier when the SIDs get that information to you, doesn't they it? They do a great job. Notre Dame will inbound. Donald Royal will put it in play. Marquette getting a lot of bench scoring, primarily from Flory. Notre Dame has not had a point off the bench. One thing the Fighting Irish will have to develop at point into the tournament is they're going to have to get some bench scoring. Good move by Royal. Donald Royal. He has 10 points, and Notre Dame leads by eight. Notre Dame continues to stay with that man to man pressure. Johnson got himself in the air. There's Poole. Boone gets in, in there. You just do not stop him. Boone with 12. He's one of the best players I've seen this year at making that move to the inside, either with his back or facing toward the basket. He's very, very good from that range. One of the main reasons he's so strong. Stevenson forces that one the rebound off the hand of Boone. It'll be Notre Dame ball. Notre Dame leading by six, 14.50 left to play. You don't ever forget the fact that you're sitting there looking at David Boone and Tom Copa, both with three personal fouls, and they're going to try to stay away from that. Let's see if Notre Dame tries to exploit it. Sims fouls Rivers. For Sims, that is his second personal foul, the team's second of the half. But Sims just missed that basketball. Look at the ball handling by Rivers. Put it between his legs, made the baseline move, tried to get around. Sims reached around and grabbed him. That's a great matchup. I know we're talking a lot about it, but it really is. Both of these guys extremely good on defense, and they've got offensive capabilities of handling and shooting it. Donald Royal making a move to the hole. Off the hands of Bo Sims by himself. Pop drops it through. Sims has had eight second half points. He now has 11 to keep Marquette close in this game. Notre Dame leads by four. 14 20 left to play. Here it looked like right then, just about the time Donald Royal was going to make that move and go straight up with it. They got a lot of help from the offside, got the steal, and instead of being an eight point lead for the Fighting Irish, it's now a four point lead. Good job by Marquette to get that steal in the basket. Scott Hicks. Oh, Sims is all over that floor. David Rivers, no. Rebound, Mark Stevenson. Off his hand, it'll be Marquette Ball. In the great independent. Matchups. That's the Paul Notre Dame Marquette of Dayton. The win for Notre Dame would clinch at least a tie for that series championship with DePaul. DePaul is also 4 1. Been some discussion about forming a uh, conference out of those four schools, and a couple of other schools are presently in other conferences, but uh, I don't think that's going to come about. Their three year agreement ends this year. Tom Copa inside position, a good feed, and Copa now with four points. Notre Dame's lead is two. 13 and a half to play. Keep an eye on Rivers and Sims. Good screen right there and a good dish back to Royal. Good fake. Royal tried to dish to Bose. Whistle. Tied up ball. Alternate possession belongs to Notre Dame. It'll be Notre Dame's ball. 
Gary, I think maybe they overpassed the basketball that time. They really had a couple of open shots, and they made one or two too many passes. Digger Phelps right there in that familiar position, squatting in front of his bench. Good defense. Rivers calls a timeout. Excellent defense by Marquette, forcing Notre Dame to use a timeout. They have used their second timeout. It's 46-44. Notre Dame will be back this message. Leading by two, the Irish led by five at halftime over Marquette. The great independent game, the first meeting at the ACC. Notre Dame won that one 58 to 48. How about that for field goal shooting? Seven of eight for Marquette in the second half, 86%. Notre Dame shooting a paltry 63%. Of course, four of those seven field goals were layups by Sims after steals. Pop has scored eight points to get Marquette to within two here. Pop eight points in the second half. Notre Dame gets that one inside to Royal, and that's an easy two for Donald Royal. Good strong move by Donald Royal. He almost had it slapped away, and his strength prevented it, and went up strong and put it in the basket. Royal has 12 points, Notre Dame by four. Kevin Johnson, Tom Copa in the paint. And the big man has six points. Tom Copa, where have you been? Two baskets now in the second half. He's starting to show a little authority. Copa got into some early foul trouble. He's playing with three, as is David Boone. David Rivers blocked by Copa, picked off by Donald Royal. Good help that time by Tom Copa. A good move by David Rivers getting around that screen. He blew right to the basket. Copa was good offside help. Watch the screen set. Notre Dame does a good job of setting screens and freeing people to get open shots. Donald Royal. Scott Hicks will come from outside. Doesn't go. And Copa owns the board for Mark Kepney's foul. Foul on Donald Royal. Royal's first and only the first team foul for Notre Dame this half. Right there, Harry, you're looking at Sister Maria Paris. Kind of an interesting story. She's the women's basketball coach here at Marquette. She's going to appear on the Joan River show week after next. It's kind of interesting. I was talking to Hank Raymond the other day. He says she's really tough on the officials, <laughs> and she is a nun. Women's coach here at Marquette. The Notre Dame women beat the Marquette women earlier this evening. Notre Dame leading this one by two, but Marquette can tie with a two-point shot here. Kevin Johnson gets inside, rebound pulled down by Scott Hicks. Marquette drops back nicely, and Hicks loses the ball off his foot and out of bounds. It'll be Marquette ball. Well, I would say at this point, Notre Dame's giving Marquette every indication of allowing them to creep up and catch the lead right here and take over. Hicks just kicked the ball out of bounds after a, a shot that was taken by Kevin Johnson that I think maybe was not of a very good variety. Tony Smith, a 6'3 freshman from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, back in from Marquette. Glad you had to say that. <laughs> they have 11 and a half to play. Notre Dame by two. Inside to Prune. He misses the layup, gets his own rebound, and ties it up. 14 and we are tied at the Mecca. I want to tell you what, Copa got away with a foul that time too. Rivers, who will not go. Foul called inside. And Marquette can take the lead for the second time tonight. It's on Donald Royal, his second. David Rivers go up with a shot right here. Sims got back quickly after the screen kept him away from Rivers. He kind of threw his timing off, and you see the foul committed right there by Royal against Boone. Donald Royal has gone over the 1,000 mark. He now has 1,001 points following his last field goal, the 31st player in Notre Dame history to accomplish that. Earlier this year, David Rivers reached the 1,000 mark. Right now, they're trying to keep Marquette from taking a two-point lead. We're getting all those thousands. M44 left to play. Donald Royal, great defense. 
Here's Scott Hicks, and he'll lay it in. Thanks to Donald Royal at the other end who denied the pass to Boone. And to save it from going out of bounds to throw it back in to allow Hicks to get that layup. Hicks with 14. Notre Dame now leading by two. Glory was afraid he was going to walk. Ball knocked out of bounds off Glory. It'll be Notre Dame ball. I think maybe Mike Glory might have forced that one a little bit. He got inside and really kind of ran out of room. Nobody to pass to, and he had to throw up a very bad shot. David Rivers now on the bench, so Scott Hicks will be the point guard for Notre Dame. Stack Sean offense. Connor in there. Stack offense right now by the Fighting Irish underneath. Trying to pop somebody out on that wing or get the ball inside. Strong move by Royal and a great feed to Stevenson. Stevenson with 11 points, but Donald Royal has been responsible for the last four Notre Dame points. And Mark Kent will call timeout. 9.49 to play in the game. Notre Dame leading by four over Mark Kent, 52 to 48. We'll be back at the Mecca with more right after this. St. John's upsetting Pitt by 276-74. I think that throws that Big East into a three-way tie. It? it is now chaos over there. Georgetown, Syracuse. Here's UAB with a big win at Western Kentucky in the Sun Belt Conference Final, 72-60. Western Kentucky being one of the clubs that upset Notre Dame early in the year and that big Apple NIT. All four of those teams will get NCAA bids. I would think Western Kentucky, UAB, St. John's, and Pittsburgh, certainly. I think we may be looking at two more right here. Mark Kep, though, almost needs a win tonight to aid their hopes. They still have a game here against Evansville, and then they finish on the road at DePaul. No easy task. It's an easy road win. <laughs> Notre Dame by four. 27 left. Marquette spreading the offense now. Notre Dame trying to find who they're going to match up with. Marquette's trying to spread it, trying to maybe get somebody open for a one-on-one -on -one move or maybe get the ball back inside to Boone or Copa. That's who they're looking into. They want to get it into the hands of Boone. A three-point shot by Sims off the front of the rim. No, and Stevenson takes the rebound for Notre Dame. I thought maybe Marquette looked a little disorganized on offense that time. They were all spread out, and nobody knew what they wanted to do, and they had to get a long three-point shot, which is something they don't ordinarily do. Quick hands by Sims. He's forced a lot of turnovers for Marquette tonight. Royal strong to the hole and a thunder dunk. Donald Royal has been a real key for the Irish here in the second half. He has 14. It was a good screen by Vost that freed him, too. He really hung Boone up outside. Copa will not go. Rebound tapped out. Controlled by Marquette. Copa. Michael Sims feeds Copa. He has the easy layup from Sims. Copa with eight points. Notre Dame's lead is four over Marquette. A little more than eight minutes left to play in the game. So far, we've seen 32 minutes of excellent basketball. Good game. David Rivers has been on the bench, interestingly, for Notre Dame for the last couple of minutes. I think maybe Digger got a little bit upset with that shot that he took earlier. He really was not in good position to take it. Scott Hicks inside. No, a whistle and a foul called. It's going to be on Gary Bose. Bose picking up his second, only the third team foul for Notre Dame in the half. Good move by Hicks baseline here. He got in there and a good recovery by Sims to cut him off. Look at Copa go in and grab the rebound and the foul is committed by Gary Vose. Copa's done a good job in this second half. Now Rivers is back in off the bench for Digger Phelps. And Sean Connor checks back out for Notre Dame. Harry, sometimes it's good to get a player over on the side, sit down and visit with him for a couple of minutes and say, look, calm down, get your game going again. Let's see how Rivers responds. Once you get Boot in there, it's usually history, but he misses that one, and Bose is fouled by Copen. For Copen, that'll be his fourth. The team's third and a half. Watch Copa go in. You see him on the right side of your screen. He'll come in here right after Vose gets the basketball. Copa reaches in and tries to steal it from him. Vose has got both hands on it. He's not going to let him have it. Another reason perhaps Rivers was on the bench is after the bad accident, his endurance is not quite what it was last year. And 
think you're watching fresh for the last seven and a half minutes of this game. You see Stevenson Johnson nearly lost yeah. it. Johnson just reached up and slapped it away from him. Scott Hicks. He's fouled by Pop Sims. Sims reaching in for his third personal foul. The fourth team foul on Marquette and a half. We're not close to one-on-one -on -one shooting this half. Watch Scott Hicks make this move and watch the three players for the Fighting Irish underneath. Look at them, look at the basketball. They know if he penetrates, he can't get the shot. They're going to get the ball to one of those three guys underneath and there's a good pass to Hicks for the basket. Good job by David Rivers getting it in. Scott Hicks with 16 points. It leads Notre Dame in scoring. And Notre Dame leads Marquette by six. 651 and counting. Marquette cannot get over that hump. They had cut it to two and had a chance to tie, but they just couldn't get it over. They did tie at one point in this half, and they led just once in the game in the first half. There's Copa, whose shot goes off the front of the rim, and Donald Royal gets the carom. Pretty good move by Copa. I didn't know he had a left hand. Showed a little bit of it right there. Maybe Coach Duquette didn't want him to show him. Rivers and Sims has been a great matchup all night. Donald Royal and Boone also. That's been a good matchup, and a foul is called. It's going to be an Illegal offensive foul by yeah. David Rivers, I believe. It is Rivers. His first foul, the team's fourth. Both teams with four team fouls this half. Bigger Phelps in his 16th year. Head coach of Notre Dame. Notre Dame one for two and three point shots. Mark kept nothing for three. Not many three pointers attempted. Neither club famous for taking three point goals. And there's Boone again. David Boone has 16. He leads the Warriors in scoring. And Marquette is within four with less than six minutes to play in the game. It's the type of basketball game we expected to see. These two clubs have played close games for many, many years. They really have. Boone came close to getting in a reach-in foul there, and he doesn't want that. He's playing with three. Well, Sims really getting screened that time. He could have gone left or right and run into a blue shirt. Rivers trying to utilize those screens. Couldn't do it. Good move by Rivers. Boy, that was a quick move. Bad shot. Bad shot, but Bose was right there for the opportunity basket. And Notre Dame is back ahead by six with 525 to play. It's interesting that Boone's been able to play this whole second half and not commit a fourth foul. And get his share of points. Boone leading Marquette in scoring with 16. Copa, the pivot move over Bose. Does not go, and Scotty Hicks can really sky at 6-3. How about that for a rebound for a 6-3 guard? That's one of the reasons Notre Dame has such a rebounding margin against other teams. They get good rebounding from Hicks and Rivers, their guards. Hicks averages four and a half boards per game. Excellent for a guard. Good pass to Bose. Bose had position. Donald Royal keeps it alive. Rivers, yes. Rivers with 15 points. Now what Marquette is doing is coming up with those loose balls. That time they got one, and Rivers got the basket, and Marquette wants to talk about it. And it boasts with a miss. Watch it roll off the back. Copa going to try to slap it back to one of his players, but Rivers is there to intercept it, and a good athletic move to get around the inside of David Boone. Now let's watch it down low. Look at Rivers moving the ball around up top. He gets that opening right down the middle and goes right between the white-shirted Warriors to lay it up. David Rivers having an outstanding evening. He needs four more points to tie Jack Stevens for 12th on the all-time Notre Dame scoring list. And, of course, David has one more year remaining. Next in line after Jack Stevens would be now assistant coach John Shoemate, who played a lot of center for Notre Dame. He's the 11th all-time scorer. I don't imagine John's going to be too upset if he takes it over for him. Would he? <laughs> Would he be upset? No, I don't think so. John has done a remarkable job with Gary Bose, who has really improved as the season has gone on for Notre Dame. Notre Dame leading by eight. We have 423 left to play in the game. Marquette needs a basket desperately right here. Yeah, they do. They're trailing by eight. Wouldn't surprise me to see him come out with some sort of trap. Laurie, the three-point shot, no, but Donald Royal, the rebound, and he injures inadvertently his teammate, Gary Vose, who's down on the court. Yeah. 
see what happens. Here's Royal getting the board. He out muscles. Oh, he, he caught his own player Vos with an elbow. It's bad enough to get hit by a, uh, the opponent uh, when your own <laughs> man gets you. That's doubly works. Watch it again from up top. You can see right here. There's Royal coming down. Vos went straight to the floor. Well, he really caught a shot. Now the uh, trainer's gone on the uh, court, Harry. You know the rule now is he, he has to come off. If he comes off of there, uh, the Irish will not be charged with a timeout. Well, he caught the elbow from Donald Royal. He's being held to his feet there by his teammates. And Skip Meyer, the Notre Dame trainer, is out attending to Gary Vose. I was going to say that, Larry, that uh, Donald Royal really has kind of taken charge here in the second half. He didn't have a real big first half. He scored six. He now has 14, but he's taken charge on the boards. He's had a lot of key assists and played excellent defense. When you get into the NCAA tournament, you start to look for the kind of player that Donald Royal is. You've got to have somebody who wants to be in the limelight, somebody who wants to step forward and assume leadership. And I think they've got a couple of guys like that. I think Donald Royal's like that. I think Scott Hicks and David Rivers are like that. They've got three guys that'll take charge. And right now, tonight in this game at the Mecca, it's going to be right now Donald Royal who's leading the Fighting Irish. Freshman Scott Paddock, a 6-9er out of Plantation, Florida, checking in for Bose. Is no Notre Dame inbounds with an eight-point lead. Here's Scott Hicks. Kevin Johnson on him. Less than four minutes, and Notre Dame leads by eight here at the Mecca. Here's Donald Royal. Great pass to Stevenson, but he passes up the shot. Now comes back in and tries that. It looked like he had a better shot the first time, and the freshman panic. The offensive board and the basket. Well, that's a big basket for that freshman. He really helped the Fighting Irish now. That gives them a big lift, a 10-point lead. With 3.33 left to play, Reeder, the turnaround jumper, and Paddock pulls down the air ball for Notre Dame. Hard to shoot an air ball from six feet, but Reeder did it. I don't know. Paul Carlson shoots a lot of those from six feet. 62-52, Notre Dame. Stevenson inside, rejected by Copa, but Donald Royal strong on the offensive glass, and he's fouled by Reeder, and Notre Dame started. Take charge on the boards. Notre Dame is 15th in the nation in rebounding margin, and that has been a key difference also tonight. You know, Bob Duquette told me at practice yesterday there were a couple of things he had to do to win this basketball game. One was obviously keeping Notre Dame off the free throw line, but he said secondly was the rebounding game. He said we've got to improve our offensive rebounding and our defensive rebounding and keep Notre Dame away from the offensive glass. So far in the second half, and in particular the last couple of minutes, Notre Dame has really taken it to them on the glass. Donald Royal has gone over the 1,000 mark in points scored at Notre Dame tonight, and he has 15 points. Balanced scoring for Notre Dame. David Rivers has 15. Scott Hicks leading the Irish in scoring with 16. Royal can tie him with this free throw. Doesn't, and Tom Cope pulls down the rebound for Marquette. Sends all the way inside. The foul is going to be on Rivers. I was getting ready to say maybe it might be in Marquette's best interest to start taking some of those three-point attempts so they can get that lead whittled down, but instead you're going to see right here Sims take the basketball strong to the basket. Rivers from the backside committing the foul. Gary Bose, who caught the elbow, will check back in for Notre Dame. Scott Paddock coming out. Paddock gets a big hand from his teammates after coming up with a big offensive rebound and basket. Good confidence builder for the freshman coming off the bench and giving his club a big lift. Goes with that Bose. cotton, cotton stuff, stuffed in his nose right there from that shot that he took from uh, Donald Royal. Sims has 11 points. Gets the roll. Sims with a dozen. He's averaging 15 and 4 tenths points per game. that time Scott Hicks rebound Notre Dame here comes the pressure by Marquette well they need to 250 to play in Notre Dame with a 10 point lead Notre Dame led by five at the half well there's the advantage of having a Donald Royal around the moving back out to the point guard at 6 8 and let him handle the basketball and it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense 
Battle Royal has really become a fine player. Rivers from the baseline. David with 17. Notre Dame by 12, 220. Kevin Johnson, good defense by Donald Royal, but rebound basket by David Boone, who has 18 points to lead all scores. A 10-point Notre Dame lead. You better hurry. Six left to play. He just made it. Battle Royal, the move to the basket, and Battle Royal has been a key for Notre Dame here in the second half. He has 17 points. And now Marquette is going to use one of their timeouts. They have only one more timeout remaining. We have a minute 47 left to play in the game. Notre Dame leading Marquette 67 to 55. We'll be back at the Mecca right after this. Louisiana, the co-captain, has been a key factor in the second half, which sees Notre Dame leading by a dozen with 147 left to play. That man right there has done an excellent job of coaching this basketball game tonight. Marquette's made a couple of serious runs at them in both the first and the second half, and his club has shown a lot of maturity in being able to overcome that. Bigger Phelps looking for his 11th 20 or more win season at Notre Dame. This would be number 19 if the Irish could hang on and they have a pretty commanding lead with just a minute 34 left to play. I think they called that foul on Tony Smith. Yeah, they did. And it's the 16 foul on Marquette. All the way down court, stolen by Tony Smith. And Marquette will bring it the other way. Kevin Johnson, they need to shoot and shoot quickly. Ellenson inside has position. It won't go, but he gets his own rebound, and he's fouled. So Ellenson, who had just come in off the bench, had position. He's fouled by Bose. Bose is third. Notre Dame's sixth team foul of the half. And Ellenson will come to the line. He'll be shooting a pair. That's the last thing you want to do. You don't want to commit a foul to stop that clock. Let it keep going. Give Marquette the field goal and go on and keep the clock running. Ellenson is a 6'6 freshman from Men Menominee, Wisconsin. Hey, this is a big win for Notre Dame. Come in here in Milwaukee and Marquette. It'll be the fourth time, fourth consecutive trip into the Mecca in Milwaukee that they've been able to beat Marquette. And it's a tough place to play. Obviously, partial crowd for the Warriors, but Notre Dame has really come on this season. Could be a factor in the NCAA tournament. Pop Sims commits a foul. His fourth, and David Rivers will go to the line. He'll be shooting one on one. You know, I think for a lot of reasons you make an excellent point there because this is a club that has been not racked or beset by injuries all year, but they've had some key injuries during the year, and some of the guys have missed games. And I think Digger took the opportunity during a couple of periods during the year to allow these guys to heal just so that they could get ready for this March run. And it looks like they're in great shape to make a run for this NCAA tournament. They have shown they can play with the big people. They have knocked off then number one North Carolina. They've knocked off number four DePaul and number 15 Duke. And David Rivers now can tie Jack Stevens for the number 12 spot on the all time Notre Dame scoring list. Yeah, and next in line, John Schumer. You also mentioned all three of those teams, and it's important to note that they did all of that in February. It was not January, December. They did it in February. Rivers with 19 and Notre Dame now leading by 13. Minute 13 left to play. Notre Dame well on their way to their 19th win. Kevin Johnson moved to the basket. Tipped by Ellen Sano. Rebound scrambled for. Out of bounds. Last touch by Bose. It'll be Marquette Ball. That basketball went in about the 30th row. Most of the time you never get that one back. Notre Dame one by five at the half. Now with a commanding 13-point lead. They'll give Boone that one. And Boone now has 20. Notre Dame leading by 11. Less than a minute to play. And Sims commits the foul. And Hicks will be shooting one and one. 
Well, we're going to get the parade to the free throw line, but this is not a basketball team that you want to foul because they walk to the free throw line and they make theirs. Sims is fouled out of the game. He'll leave the game with 12 points. And a good job on David Rivers, really, despite the fact that Rivers has 19 points. He, he forced a lot of turnovers by Rivers. And oftentimes when you're playing that kind of defense, it takes away from your offensive ability, too, because you get a little fatigue chasing around a good player like Rivers. And I think maybe in the second half it began to show because he only had two in the second half. Scott hits with 16 points. Shooting one and one. He's a 64% free throw shooter. Hicks has 17. Rivers leads Notre Dame in scoring with 19. Battle Royal has 17. Hicks now is 17. Notre Dame usually does display balanced score. Mark Stevenson also in double figures with 11. Three-point shot, no, but there is Donald Royal for the rebound. Out to David Rivers, and he's fouled. He's fouled by Tony Smith. Foul. Number 34, Tony Smith. So Rivers will come to the line, shooting one and one. Rivers will shoot a ball. David's high game this year, 24 against Eastern Michigan and Penn. His career high, 28 against BYU. He's a sophomore. It's going to push Notre Dame to 19 and 7 for the year, and it's actually going to give them a six-game winning streak. They've got three games left: one against Brooklyn, one against Miami. It's two to separate neighborhoods. And the other, the last one, at Dayton. Rivers from Jersey City, New Jersey. Former Marquette player Mandy Johnson is here at the game. He's from Jersey City, New Jersey. Went to the same high school as David Rivers, St. Anthony's. Here to see David. David with 20 points. Saw a little shot of Bob Duquette right there on the bench. Remember that name because he's going to get this Marquette program built back again. He's done an excellent job. I talked to him and he's going to continue to get good athletes. I'll tell you what, the guy is single and absolutely dedicated to building this program. They have nine recruits here for this game. A foul is called on Scott Hicks, and Digger Phelps does not like that foul, even though his team has has a commanding lead. He doesn't like to see his players fouling to stop the clock with 35 seconds remaining. He made that move to the temples of his head with both fingers pointing and saying, think, think about what you're doing. In fact, if you listen real close, he's close enough to us that everybody else could hear him. He's upset about things being thrown on the floor by a disappointed Marquette student body. We'll get one more. Don't throw anything on the floor. Now well, Marquette led once in this game in the first half, and they tied once in the second half, but it's been pretty much Notre Dame. And Irish came here to the Mecca in hostile territory and have conquered. They've done it convincingly, I would say. Yes, they have. They played an excellent second half. Just when Marquette made that run at them and got it tied, they just stretched it out and kept going. 72-60 Notre Dame. Less than 20 seconds to play in the game. Scotty Hicks. Like Marquette's Marquette's gonna Marquette's not going to foul, though. They're not going to foul. Battle Royal. Haley lost the ball. Game is over. That basket would not have counted. Notre Dame has won their 19th game as Bigger Phelps and Bob Duquette shake hands following the game. Notre Dame has defeated Marquette by a score of 72 to 60 here at the Mecca in Milwaukee. Final score once again 72 60. Notre Dame takes on Marquette and just about ousts them from any possible hope of reaching the tournament. Marquette with only 15 wins. Notre Dame going there no problem. Let's check what we have coming.